Seven years ago, her last born started experiencing symptoms akin to cerebral malaria after a relatively healthy childhood. Rufina Ramaji's last born started experiencing even more of conditions like head nodding and having seizures. <laughs> Rufina says her daughter aged seven but looks like a three-year-old now, refuses to eat, and when she develops an appetite, it is insatiable. She only takes fortified porridge. She also says that she has to keep watching her all the time. For her, digging in her garden is now on hold. She is not alone. 15-year-old Konchi Abonyo, in the care of her 65-year-old grandmother, Malona Achan, is damp and out of school. Many children like her have dropped out of school. She's one of 46 pupils who have dropped out of Aru Falls Primary School since 2009 after exhibiting symptoms similar to Rafina's daughter. Currently in the school of 151 pupils, 14 are affected. The residents are enraged. This population I have here have half of the children affected. The children are no longer able to serve the nation. The children are destroyed. They are just kept at home and yet this problem has not been recognized at any level in this country. The disease affecting these children is none other than nodding disease or nodding syndrome. It has more adverse effects than just its name connotes. We were calling it all along epilepsy, but we realized there are different aspects all together added on to the fits, the nodding aspects. And the nodding is triggered by food or cold weather. When a child is brought food, it's time to eat. Instead of eating, the child starts to doze. It's like dozing and to nod the head. The onset of seizures restrains eating and they suffer from malnutrition. Most are stunted. They are also prone to accidents such as burning and drowning. The disease emerged in Sudan in the 1980s but was first documented in 1962 in Tanzania. In Uganda, it is manifested in the northern part of the country and in late 2009, the Ministry of Health found more than 2,000 children to be affected. <laughs> Centers for Disease Control investigators say that once they have it, they die with it and much earlier than they would have otherwise.